Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. I will make this brief video to explain you where uh, it is likely that we are expecting volcanic eruption on Reykjanes Peninsula. And it might happen because the earth uh, keeps rising and uh, we have many earthquakes still. So we'll let's zoom in here into Reykjanes Peninsula. Here you see the uh, city of Grindavik, which is the fishing capital of Iceland, so to say very important when it comes to fishing industry. Right next to this um, town we have this mountain uh, called Thorbjörnsfjall or Thorbjörns uh, Volcano. It's very ancient, sometime from the Ice Age. But we have some earthquakes around this mountain and right next to it we have Blue Lagoon uh, here to the north of it. And the earth is rising right here uh, next to this road here, you see there is a road, uh, I drive this road very often with tourists when I drive people to Blue Lagoon and uh, we have some craters here right next to it uh, let's zoom in here, those are craters uh, uh, Itla Hroin, the bed lava as they call this lava field Itla Hroin, the bed lava, and those are the craters here you see and that's where we would expect volcanic eruption precisely in, in those craters here in this area right next to the highway because that's where we have the biggest um, uh, land rise land swelling precisely here I can show you uh, here is the map of uh, land rise you see it's right here the red thing right next to this road and here where it's uh, the most dark the most rare is here right next to the highway uh, that's where you have those uh, craters and uh, that's where we would uh, likely to see what kind of corruption where we have the biggest uh, land rise it's logical and what would happen if uh, lava would erupt there uh, yeah there is some threat to, ta to the town of Grindavik but you have this mountain here and blocking uh, the city also there is here is a big uphill it's a pretty significant one and it wouldn't be easy for the lava to uh, to come down to the city immediately so um, uh, they will have some time to um, uh, to prevent the lava from coming into the city if we will uh, start going south uh, so we might it's not necessarily we'll enter Grindelwald because uh, you see there is this uh, hill here you see this land rise here uh, so we might go into the ocean somewhere here if, we, if it will make that far but it might take a long time you see in Fagradasfjall it took six months for the lava half a year to reach here so it's not so uh, easy for the lava to travel that far and that quick and there is a lot of ground water in this area uh, geothermal hot springs and things like this so there might be a lot of explosive activity and it, it, it will not be as friendly eruption as um, uh, the eruptions in Fagadashvat due to the presence of groundwater in shallow depths. So uh, those are the craters and that's where we would uh, likely we are likely to see the eruption right here next to Blue Lagoon. The distance to the Blue Lagoon is like really uh, one two kilometers very close. Yeah, the distance to Grindavik is about seven kilometers, so it's quite a distance here to the city. So, but Grindavik is kind of protected by the mountains. So, but we also have earthquakes on the other side of the road, but there are no, there is no uh, uh, land rise in this area. Let's look at the earthquakes, recent earthquakes during the past 24 hours. They are some somewhat subsided, but they come in cycles, so we might hit another cycle. The coming wave so now we are in the bottom of the wave so now we didn't have any big earthquakes but well there are lots of small ones you see every every minute really uh, this is the past 24 hours data see and now they are concentrated on the other side of the road for some reason kind of uh, there was not as well there not a single earthquake in the area where I would expect eruption you see next to this blue lagoon road uh, it's Blue Lagoon Road 426 right next to it here, but uh, they might come again. But we had some big earthquakes in this area during the past days, like reaching magnitude 5, 4. But I didn't feel any of them. They kind of 
because I live uh, I live pretty far away. Like I live here in in Sorla shop here. You see, there was even earthquake here in the sea. So uh, I didn't feel any earthquakes right here. <laughs> Not a single one actually of all of those earthquakes. It's kind of but I did feel when they happened in Fagradalsfjall. Uh, so those are kind of strange earthquakes. Uh, they are not... But people feel them in Kaplovik at least. In Kaplovik and Grindavik. So they don't uh, reverberate very far. Uh, so... So there is some threat to the city of Grindavik, but not the immediate one, though the leading Icelandic volcanologist Thorvaldur Tordrason was warning uh, the authorities to start thinking not even in days but in a matter of hours uh, when it comes to the evacuation though you never know we might see no eruption at all so because we had series of all earthquakes in this area and this mountain uh, back in 2020 which didn't um, result in anything so when similar cases were in Fagradalsfjall so those are the earthquakes during the past um, uh, 24 hours and you see they're happening all over not only uh, in close to Grindelwald but also in the ocean all around uh, Reykjanes Ridge the tectonic rift this is tectonic uh, rift here going on tectonic divergence between North American and Eurasian tectonic plates so now earthquakes subsided somewhat here you see another resource Icelandic map office data you see we don't have much earthquakes like not strong ones but there are plenty of uh, small ones and they are all in Reykjanes Peninsula very green Davik. so they keep coming so magma might break through any day so and if this happens I will keep you informed I will be there my drone battery is already charged so <laughs> uh, we will film it as it happens this is a land rise you see it's happening right next to the Blue Lagoon Road this road here is called Blue Lagoon Road and that's where uh, we are likely to see volcanic eruption uh, there was no volcanic eruptions in that area since Middle Ages sometime but uh, we might see uh, most likely it will be short-lived some few weeks don't I wouldn't expect it to last some months some weeks like it's very common in Rikines Peninsula there are so many creatures all around here like tiny ones which lasted just some weeks so it might be just uh, a flash eruption and that's it uh, it's pretty common in this area and there is this geothermal power plant here you see which generates uh, hot water and electricity precisely for the city of Grindavik and it's uh, if it would be harmed in some way mm, but I'm not sure if Malau will make it all the way there but there is some threat and then the city of Grindavik uh, would be left without water and electricity but now they are um, organizing it to provide emergency electricity supply in case of such a one so authorities are preparing for this so there is a danger to of course to this road uh, Blue Lagoon Road which is insignificant road nobody is really using it much just a little bit some tourists driving there um, some few times per day it's this is the main road this is the highway Grindavik road Grindavik road is important because it's the major connection of uh, Grindavik with Reykjavik that's this is a very important road so like people drive to work to Reykjavik from Grindavik every day using this road so it's kind of uh, would be a big 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 problem if uh, lava would go over this highway otherwise this road uh, is insignificant the small one here like there are some uh, hot water pipes here you see uh, from the geothermal power plant they might get affected they run here to the uh, to the west so those are the craters that's where we would expect volcanic eruption just keep an eye on this area what is happening here in this area here right next to the blue lagoon road this is what i wanted to show you for now it's not that far from fakra that's fat some 20 kilometers or so and to the west this is the volcano which erupted in 2023 you see here so 
it's some distance, but all the area gets affected by this new series of Fagrasfjall volcanic series, which may last for 30 years. Here, the Stampar series uh, lasted for 30 years in this area. There is a row of craters right next to Gunnok where Hot Springs. The, oh, yeah, see the Stampar. You, you see a video from my on my channel about I visited them. So there are like 10 craters here which erupted in the course of 10 years, one after another, for some weeks. Usually the eruptions come in series and you might see some short-lived eruption in this area. Which can be spectacular during the first days, like first hours. So if to be there is better to be there immediately because volcano will subside. Uh, every day will be subsiding if it starts, like it happened at the Little Root or so. I wouldn't expect it to expect it to last uh, some months. Uh, this is uh, the brief update. What are we expecting? Though nothing might happen, but at least Torvald or Tordarson, the leading Icelandic for volcanologist, uh, uh, tells of a possibility of uh, uh, eruption in this area pretty soon. Hours to days, really. Uh, I'm working right now, but I will be there if, if it happens like every other day. It's so close to drive there. Anyway, stay tuned. I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Be well.